What's going on, guys? Welcome into Dom Details Daily, a daily way off commentary that serves you until we can film a way off episode at the end of the week. So this is just covering quick hot button topics. And today I'm talking about Miles Garrett. Um, recently, the question has come up as to whether Miles Garrett is too soft. Um, and this is, you know, spun off into other rumors of he won't be taken first, which I mean, we've seen those rumors for the past few months. So that's nothing to worry about. But I want to go ahead and get into the too soft comment. <sighs> First and foremost, for him to decline an invite to Mike and Mike in the morning because Booger McFarlane is going to be there. Well, let me first touch on Booger. Booger is known to give his opinion. I don't really know if Booger likes anybody. He's kind of always been the wayward, you know, off opinion. So there's nothing different in that. For Miles Garrett to not go on a show where he has to defend his body of work that speaks for itself, I just don't see how that comes off as, as wrong. And I mean, um, people are saying that he should have, you know, you, you go up and, and you earn respect and you go, you know, face face the doubters and face the haters. I just have a problem with that. I mean, we're we're talking about shows that have carried T.O. Um, while he makes his um, defense as to why he wasn't a first ballot Hall of Famer. We're talking about shows that continually get on LeBron James and his body of work that he's not one of the best, if he, if not the best. It gets to a point where why are we having to defend ourselves when the work does and why even deal with the drama if it's not even worth it in the end because again the body of work speaks for itself and we're trying to create this mold where we punish players and we get on them for defending themselves becomes like because they come off as too aggressive too negative too defensive whatever so miles doesn't do it and now he's too soft too much of a double standard going on here I saw on an ESPN segment that one of the um, commentators said that somebody, or maybe it's him, believes that he probably wouldn't work well with one of the coaches because the coach is known to get on players and that Miles might not be too receptive to that. <laughs> Miles Garrett plays football. Football is a rough, grimy game. And if there's one thing that Miles has discussed and that you see is that he knows when to turn it on and when to turn it off. Um, he might be into poetry and dinosaurs, but let's be real, when he gets on the field, he is, he is the biggest threat that you're going to find on that field. Miles has also worked with the likes of John Chavis. John Chavis has gone and worked with the likes of LSU, who has been known to be one of the most aggressive, the most agile, one of the best defenses in the nation. He moved over to a Texas A&M that's, you know, known by many as, as the wrecking crew defense. Maybe not in recent years. Well, in the past couple of years. And he's produced in both areas. The defense has largely improved. Chavis, as, a, as the defensive coordinator, has to be spitting and cussing. and doing, It doesn't matter. Whatever coach you have is going to chew you out. So Miles has been through it. And, I mean, obviously he's continuing to progress at a different level, at an elite level. So for him to not be able to take chewings and rashings, that, that's just – we need to go ahead and I don't know what the dude was thinking or whatever that person was thinking. Y'all need to get that out of your heads now. Cleveland has dealt with guys, the NFL in general, has dealt with guys as of recent who have too many off the field issues. They're trying to get their viewership back from people who believe that they're going too easy on guys with too many offenses. So here comes a Miles Garrett who's too soft for not arguing with somebody on national television. Here comes a Miles Garrett who has who doesn't like to go out, doesn't like to drink, doesn't like to party, who has a positive on the field image and a positive off the field image, and you don't want to take that. Okay, that's fine. Um, Adam Schefter was tweeted out last night that an NFL executive told him that he they shouldn't be surprised if Garrett isn't taken as one overall. Sorry about the bugs. Um, and it's because that they're more convinced that, you know, they're going to go with a quarterback, a.k.a. probably Mitch Trubisky, overall number one. So if we're getting into why he shouldn't be taken as number one overall, history speaks for itself with Cleveland. I mean, you want a quarterback, you're asking a rookie to come in, take over an offense, become that captain, and still deal with the daily pressures of trying to be in the NFL and navigating through his first year of trying to produce quickly because the Cleveland fan base is tired of, you know, long-term success really isn't in, you know, their minds right now. He's coming into the picture of he's having to deal with a Pittsburgh defense, a New England defense, you know, week in and week out, being in the NFL, that's very tolling on the body and just taxing on the mind. So I just feel like that's too hard. Why not get a veteran presence, which they already have in Brock Osweiler? Yeah. 
and, and let them command. Then you have a Miles Garrett who's coming in. Um, let's let's look at some of his career stats. Leaving Texas A&M, he left with 141 tackles, 47 for a loss, and 31 sacks. Broke the freshman sack record. His combine results spoke for themselves. The work that he put in on and off, if it's not even just for an image standpoint, it, it, it's for production. You see that he goes into a place and he reacts quickly. He's ready, he's enthusiastic, he gets to work, and he's going to get the job done quick. So, so why not? And we've seen defensive players become captains and leaders for their teams. I mean, the Browns defensively gave up 28 points per game. They Only New Orleans and San Francisco were worse in that category. Um, and the Browns ranked only above San Francisco for worst defense in the NFL this past season. So, I mean, you could really use that spark on defense. They're always looking for an offensive piece, but defenses win championships as well. We've seen that. If you're going to come with something as a reason to not draft him number one overall, you probably could use his injuries. But, I mean, even in that, he played with a high ankle sprain. He played with dog on near a broken hand and still produced. He's a smart guy. He sets up plays for his teammates, so he's, he's not selfish. Um, he, can get on, he can get to the outside quicker than any offensive line. For him to go up against these guys, of course, everybody in the NFL is going to be bigger, faster, stronger. But, I mean, this guy is willing to put, the, he's willing to put in the work to get where uh, this team needs to be. So, honestly, at this point, it's not even about if Cleveland wants to draft him first overall. It's about, oh, do you really want to go to Cleveland? <laughs> so, the only other thing that I have to talk about today is Tony Romo. People are making a big fuss about him going to the Mavs. What's the problem? I, I really don't see the problem in this. This is a send off for a guy who's, you know, not necessarily produced for Dallas, but who is really, um, brought shed a positive light on the Cowboys organization over the past nine years. He didn't get a proper send off during the season. Um, and so, you know, when another team in Dallas wants to respect you and when the fans want to respect you and give you the send off that you deserve, what's the problem? You guys are thinking too deep into it. Um, I think it was great. Jerry couldn't do it for him this season. So I'll see you guys this Saturday with our next episode. And um, you guys can check out the previous episode where we discuss Tony Romo, NBA players resting, taking last shots, uh, taking shots at the last second, and um, my thoughts on the whole Deshaun Kaiser, Brian Kelly situation, um, and Jay's take on who should be MVP. Dom details, way off, way out.